Hello everyone, thank you for watching us here on MontevalleFalcons.com. I'm Assistant Sports Information Director Nick Muller alongside Head Men's Basketball Coach Danny Young. Coach, thanks for joining us here today. Nick, no problem. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, not a problem. <laughs> uh, so you had a tough loss to Aiken a couple weeks ago, but since then you guys have rattled off three really impressive victories. Home one over a really good Georgia Southwestern team that's been in the top 25 basically all year. And then two really impressive road wins where you won by 22 and 27. What does it say about your guys that they can bounce back from that loss like that? Well, I was hoping we'd bounce back from that loss. <laughs> you know, we, we uh, just were not playing well then, and I think we're playing a little bit better now, and we're playing harder, and we worked harder in practice, and, and the, the, you know, they've all bought into the fact of what we need to do to get better and improve, and, we, you know, we talk about improving every game. Right. So hopefully we can continue to do that. Right. A lot of focus on Terran Brown. He's, you know, a star on this team. But in the last three games, he's really scored 16, 9, and 13, which is impressive. But what does it say about your team that they can get such good wins without him scoring high 20s, low 30s? Well, I think it's great. You know? yeah. And he's a pass first guy anyway. So you know, when he gets 13 or whatever he gets, he ends up getting 9 or 10 assists a game. So that's, that's just as good to me as him getting so many points that he can continue to distribute the ball like that. I mean, he's an All-American, he's received all these accolades, and the numbers kind of jump out of you, the, you know, the scoring and all that stuff. But as his coach, what do you see from him that really makes an All-American that maybe doesn't jump out of the box score? Uh, you know, he, he just does a good job for us, and he, and he tries to distribute the ball mm -hmm. the best he can to everybody as well as score. So that really helps us and helps guys get shots and release some of the pressure off of him trying to have to right. do everything. Got a lot of good complimentary pieces in the backcourt with him this year. I know Shaikim and Ryan are really prolific from three, and then Alexis really seemed to come into a nice role as like an energy athletic guy off the bench in a six-man role. Yeah, I think we're we're finally getting healthy where we might have all our pieces back, and, and that will help. And that helped us depth. You know, yeah. this weekend we got to play everybody, and everybody, you know, is getting more in the flow and getting more reps, and mm -hmm. it just helps us our depth wise. So he, you know, and everybody's capable of doing something different. So that really is a good look for us. Moving down to the big guys, a lot of new faces down there as well. Orlando Brazier is really doing well about a double double every night, you think. Dewan Cooper, it's a solid play, really he seems to have like a big dunk or big block, big energy play once a game. And then off the bench, Silas Mills, when you're returning guys, really been getting some good minutes. And then Larry Slaughter, I've been really impressed with the past couple of games. Yeah, Larry's starting to play really, you know, if he can ever get health. <laughs> right, exactly. Growing injuries one side or the other side, but he's starting to really rebound it and, and just rebounds in traffic and plays good defense, talks on defense and you know, doing a good job for us. About halfway through conference schedule so far, what have you seen from the PBC as a whole? What are your impressions? I think the league is really up and I think there's a lot of good teams and you know unfortunately still a lot of a lot of good teams to play oh, yeah. left. So yeah. we have a lot of basketball left to play. And uh, you guys are ranked seventeenth in the country. Do you guys pay attention to all the praise or those numbers? Is that something you guys talk about? Well you know I don't know we well, we've been as high as ten I think this year, nine or ten, whatever we were. Mm -hmm. I don't think they've grasped, you know, the bigger the ranking, the bigger the target on your back, and the, and the more, you know, you're going to get everybody's best shot. And I don't think they understood that early on, but I'm hoping that they're grasping, you know, as we go, that's what's going to happen. You know, if we continue to improve, then every game is a big game for everybody we play. Absolutely. And always stuff to work on. Where do you guys think you're at in terms of reaching your full potential? I'm hoping we're not there yet. You know, I'd like to continue improving and like to peak. And, you know, the end of February, and then the first of March is, is the goal to try to be really clicking at that point. So hopefully we we can continue to improve. Best basketball ahead of you still. Best hopefully. basketball ahead of us, yeah. Armstrong this Saturday, care for a quick little preview. What are you expecting from the Pirates? Well, they're really physical and big and strong and athletic. Mm -hmm. So it will be a really you know, tough test for us. They really rebound the basketball too. Armstrong game should be coming your way about 2.30 Central time right after the women's game. All links to that video can be found I'm on LawFalcons.com. Coach Young, appreciate you joining us. For Coach Young, I'm Nick Moeller. Thanks for watching and go Falcons. Thank you.